Hey guys, Amanda here from Salesman Travel. I'm back for my reseller vlog number two. Uh, today I'm going to, well, first of all, I need to give a big shout out to my mom because she's been trying to help me sell the comforter sets that I mentioned in the previous video. And uh, so she's already sold a couple for me and I met her this morning and uh, she took three more off my hands. So hopefully she'll get those sold. So big shout out to my mom, greatly appreciate that help. Uh, and then I'm also gonna show you today how I ship a comforter set when one sells online. Uh, and um, another one other item that we sold, I'm just gonna box that up with you. And then I've got the items that I kept out of the boxes that I brought home from the storage unit. And I'm gonna go over those with you and just show you what I kept. So this is just kind of a normal day for me, uh, get it, packing up things that we sold, uh, going through items that we've, right now, stuff that we've already got, whether it's in our storage unit or already in our house and just going through items, getting them washed if they need to be washed, prepped, um, take, do measurements, take pictures, get the listings up. So that's pretty much a normal day for a reseller outside of the sourcing piece, which honestly is the most fun. Uh, so first I'm going to show you packing and shipping for the comforter set that we sold and for a pair of boots that we sold. And then I will show you all the stuff that I kept out of the storage unit. And just so you know, there may be a random cat in the background somewhere or Luda might show up. They like to make uh, gratuitous appearances. So hang tight, we're gonna go to shipping next. All right guys, I thought I'd just show you real quick um, about how I reuse the bark boxes that we get every month for Luda. So there are these awesome boxes if you haven't seen them before. And they come in monthly, he gets his treats in them, but they're really nice, sturdy cardboard boxes. They do say bark box all over them but they are fantastic for shipping shoes and ankle boots and things like that so i have these boots here they sold on mercari um they're ankle boots they i think the tags in there no these were not yeah there we go these were new with tags uh, these came out of a bulk box that i got a while back but if you can see there they fit perfectly down in this bark box so these sold on mercari and the thing I like about that is that um, you get the flat rate shipping. These are go through the FedEx shipping. And so literally they're in there. I've got them in the poly bag. And then just close the box up. And I'm just gonna put a piece of tape there and tape on either side, put my label on and I'm done. So these boxes are amazing. If you don't get a bark box for your dog or you don't have a dog, ask your friends if they have them. Uh, and get them to keep them for you because they are fantastic for shipping. I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. Hopefully I am. Uh, the other thing we sold overnight was this comforter set. These are the ones that I talked about in the last reseller vlog, saying they're take overtaking our house. Uh, this one sold on Poshmark. They're very pretty. If you want one, just go make me an offer on Poshmark. The link is in the description. I wanted to show you how I'm going to ship it though. Uh, we have these contractor bags here. These came from Lowe's. Uh, they were, it's like 20 bucks for the box. You get 24 bags. They're kind of a thicker plastic. And if you've ever had to Franken bag an item or uh, Franken box an item, you know that can get really irritating. And these are amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Luda Puppy might pop in here for some assistance. Looks like here he is. They just look like a big trash bag. You see the, the plastic is, is just a lot thicker and more heavy duty. And I might fast forward through this part just so that you don't have to hear all the crinkle crinkle. They fit down in there perfectly. And I might have a little bit off center, but it's okay. So they fit perfectly just like that. And then I'm gonna get my tape back here. And then with this extra part, I just fold it in. Just kind of like you're doing Christmas presents. Just fold it all in there. And then tuck that under and then tuck under again so it all fits kind of snugly 
because the main thing is is you don't want to have a lot of excess so that it can catch on a piece of equipment or something like that when it's going through the mail system and then I'm just gonna tape so I'm gonna put a piece of tape there I'll just to hold that in place for me and then just tape all the way across like that and like that another piece back here and then I'm just gonna do a couple of pieces like that and I'm done so that's all it is to it slap the label right on the front and it's done it's easy peasy so if you don't have uh, any of these contractor bags just like this Go to Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, just look there. They have them all over the store. Every, every time we go to Lowe's, we see them in multiple places. Um, best 20 bucks you'll ever spend if you have big bulky stuff like this. All right, so I'm back here on the couch and I'm going to show you the things that I kept from the boxes that I brought home from the storage unit a few days ago. And no, no, Minnie, can't come over now. Uh, I've got a sheet here laid out on the couch because obviously we do have pets. Generally, I keep all of our stuff uh, in ex other rooms that are closed off so our, our animals don't get near them. But for the sake of being here, having some good natural light, uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing here. So I put a, not unboxing, it's not an unboxing. Either way, you know what it is. I put a clean sheet here just so that, to protect the stuff that's already clean from the, all the cat hair. And uh, so we'll get going. Everything here, most everything here is plus size. This is the first item. It's a CJ Banks women's vest. It's a full zip. It's, it seems to be in really good condition. It does have a little pull right there, but I think I can snip that off. It'll be fine. It's a size 3X. Uh, everything, I did wash everything. The only thing I didn't wash was there was one item that was new with tags. I didn't wash it because it was in really good shape. It didn't have any funny odors or anything like that. So anyway, so here's the CJ Banks. And I found that plus size clothing does really well for me. Um, it doesn't necessarily always bring a huge amount of money, but it brings some money. And, you know, I also understand that plus size clothing is not always the easiest to find. It's not always cute. Um, and everybody has a different style. So uh, the next thing is this here. Stick the pockets back in. I pulled the pockets out because some of this, the stuff that's on hangers, I hung up to dry. Because I didn't want it to shrink in the dryer or anything. But this is just a really nice flannel. It's kind of a thick flannel shirt jacket. It's got a corduroy collar here. The brand is Marsh Landing too. I remember that brand from when I was younger, but I don't know what I remember it from, but I feel like it's something that was kind of more popular in the 90s. And this is a size 2X, so it's in really good shape. Doesn't have a lot of pilling or anything like that. It's got these cute little straps across the cuffs, so it's just you know it's kind of a basic piece but at the same time it's got a little it's got lots of versatile use from it uh then the next one this is really old i remember like my grandma wearing this kind of stuff when i was younger this is a here we go i don't know if you could see it or not it, this is also a shirt jacket it's purple and it's kind of suede and it's got these little appliques is that the right word on it this is definitely straight out of the 90s, maybe late 80s even, but I think probably 90s. Um, and it's on the back, it's just solid with this one little design here in the back. This is called Country Wear Casuals. Country Wear Casuals. It's a size 3X. So it's in really good shape though, no rips, holes, or stains, or anything like that. It's got these cute little buttons on it that kind of look like tortoise, tortoise shell. Um, so, I'm hoping, by the way, for all these kind of items, I'm hoping to get around 20 to $25 out of them. I'm not expecting anything to bring a huge amount of money, but around 20 to 25, I think would be good. Um, you know, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so this jacket here, I don't see the label right out of, on the top there, but this is a heavy, this is a heavy jacket and it's it's got a fleece see if I can show you here it's got this fleece kind of lining here on the inside and it's quilted and this really nice what's this called brocade I think it's brocade jacquard I don't know anyway got these big nice buttons on the front 
it's in really, really good condition. It doesn't have any nicks or picks or pulls in it that I could find. Um, and I was looking here real quick to see if I could find the size on it or brand, but I don't see one right out of the gate. And I think, you know what, actually, I think it's reversible now that I'm looking at it because it's got pockets on the ends on this side too. Here we go, here's the brand. Coos, of course, and it's a size 3X. That's what the tag looks like. And it is a reversible jacket. So you can wear it either way. That's really cool. I did not realize that when I was going through. So it's got this really nice, pretty, fleecy green color. So I guess if you wanna dress down a little bit, you go to this side. If you wanna make it fancy, you go to that side. So these items, by the way, the ones I've shown you so far, I've not listed yet because they've all been hanging to dry. All right, and then this is a CJ Banks blazer. It's this red kind of, this also feels kind of like a suede or a micro suede. It's got this really pretty kind of glittery design on it. And it's just, I mean, kind of just basic, a basic blazer there. No pockets on the front. This is a size 3X and it says stretch there. So it's got a little stretch to it, which is always good. For any size lady, it's good to have some stretch. And then this is just a turtleneck. And when I pulled it out of the dryer, it still just felt a little wet. So I went ahead and hung it up too. And this is a Catherine's size 4X. It's just a basic turtleneck. It's a plum color. So I'll get it listed. This, I'll be lucky if this sells for 10 or $15, but I figure it's a good basic piece and I'm gonna get it listed because I've already put this much work into it to start with. So th these things that I've just shown you are not listed yet. This stuff that I'm getting ready to show you is already listed. Uh, normally once I get it pictured, measured, listed, it goes in poly bags and I put it up in my inventory bins. But for the sake of showing you guys what I kept out of the boxes, I didn't do that yet. So this is the first thing. This is a Kato's top. It is a size 26, 28 women's. And it's just a kind of a floral design, black and white, a little gray. It's got this little banded stretch bottom here. Sorry if Luda starts barking. But anyway, it's in really good shape. No rips, holes, or stains, or anything like that. The Kato stuff, I don't expect to bring a lot of money. I think I have it listed for like $16.77. And then this is the piece that was new with tags. And this is Catherine's Black Label. And I looked it up because most of the time when clothing has a says black label, then it's kind of the higher end line of that brand. And I didn't know a whole lot about Catherine's in general. So other than it was plus size clothing. So this top here, new with tags, it's got this little tie and the tie is actually attached to the collar, but you could remove it if you wanted to. Just one of those extra little things. And it's really pretty. It's just a V-neck top. It's got this leaf kind of leaf pattern on it. The sleeves are like a little bell sleeve. They got a little slit in them too, even so that it, you know, be comfortable and nothing gets too tight or restrictive. And this, like I said, was new with tags. And it has a sticker on it for the original price being $50.99. So I do have this listed. I think I listed it for $30. It's on eBay, Poshmark. Uh, I don't think I've gotten it over to Macari yet. On eBay, I offer free shipping on Poshmark. Um, it, I don't offer free shipping, but a lot of times I send out offers with reduced shipping. So all of my prices generally include the cost of shipping just because eBay is where I go first and then I push over to Poshmark. All right, the next is, this is just like a drape front open cardigan, kind of fancy. Pretty sure this is a vintage piece and this is r &K Evenings. And it is a size 24 women's. It's got this animal print, kind of feels velvety. It's got some stretch to it, shoulder pads. See, it's just got this kind of gold woven in throughout. So it's just a little fancier evening jacket. And then next we've got this vest. This is Erin. It's a size 1X. I don't know if you can see that there or not. There we go. And this kind of feels like a low pile fur, or but it's really probably a fleece. I think I caught it fleece in the listing. And it's I've got a full metal zipper there. It's got this really pretty pattern 
on it. So this could be dressed up, dressed down. And it's just a nice, good layering piece. And then next we have another vest. This is Notations, which this is a brand that I remember from when I was younger also seeing at places like Belk. I don't know if you have a Belk close by, but it's the Southern Macy's. <laughs> but anyway, so this is Notations, size 3X. This kind of feels like a, it almost kind of feels suede but it's not suede. Definitely not. It's just polyester. It's also got a nice heavy metal zipper on it. Really good shape. No, no stains or anything like that. And animal print always seems to be good because there's always people that like animal print. This top, I contemplated whether to list this or not, and I'll show you why. This is definitely straight out of the 90s. See that lovely pattern there, and it's polyester, and it's kind of sheer, kind of feels like rayon. Got shoulder pads. This is the front, and this is the back. And it's got these fun buttons down the back. And then there's a tie at the bottom, so you could tie it up to make it shorter if you wanted to. But the reason that I contemplated listing it or not is because at the bottom, the very bottom button right here is missing. So there's a buttonhole for it, but that's missing. It, but it's right above the tie. So I feel like it's not going to really hurt it because the tie is going to kind of close up that space there anyway. So I don't think it's going to really affect the wear, the wearability of the top. And then the other part is, is that there's a little bit of fraying right there at the collar on this side. But again, I think once it's on, I don't really think you'll notice it. And the, the color is just so fun and the print is fun. And so I listed it. We'll see what happens with that. All right. And then next is, this is Alfred Dunner Women's. Again, this was something that was sold at Belk when I was a kid. I remember seeing it, new ladies that wore it. This is a size 24 women's. This is 100% silk. And it's quilted. It's kind of got this patchwork animal print vibe going. But it is it is quilted, but it's kind of a light quilt. So it's not a really heavy jacket. And it's got this black uh, polyester lining to it. Really, really good condition. And it's got... This has also got these nice little pretty metal buttons, which was something definitely from the 90s, what I remember from the 90s, with the stuff that, like, people my mom's age would wear at the time. So, and then this one, this is Added Dimensions, and that is the label there. It's a size 1X, 1820 women's. Uh, this one, I thought I'd kind of heard of the brand before, but I wasn't sure where it came from. This is apparently part of Catherine's. It's one of their lines, their clothing lines. And it's just kind of a scarf top, I think is the right word for it. The sleeves are just this kind of flowy flutter sleeve and it's open down the side, or at least it looks that way, but it is actually sewn and there is a seam there down the side. And then it's got a little cinch waist here, there where you can cinch it up and kind of you know, give yourself a little bit of a waist because the, the shirt itself is so boxy. Oh, and it's got these little sequins here up around the neck. So that's just really colorful. And I thought as much as we like to cruise and stuff like that, this would be great for somebody if they wanted to have it for like a cruise or a vacation. And then let's see, this is, I think this one is Kato's also. Yep, this is Kato's. This is a women's size 22-24. And it's just, it's got a tons of stretch to it. This kind of brown abstract floral pattern. It almost looks like a medallion print, but I don't think it's medallion. And it's got this little ruffle bell sleeve at the end and it's collared, it's button front. So you could wear it open or, or closed, however you wanted to do it. And it's in really good shape. So I got it listed. This one I think I have listed for $16.77 also. And then last but not least, this was the last top and this is called Nada Valley N-A-D-A. -A. It's a size 2X. This kind of this has got shoulder pads and it's just this really kind of pretty burgundy and orange color. Again, I re totally remember people my mom's age wearing this kind of top when I was a teenager. So and that was in the 90s. 
So, <laughs> so anyway, so this is technically what would be considered a vintage piece as well. It's got some embroidery and sequins down the front right there too, if you can see that. So I listed it. We'll see what happens. It's just kind of a fun, colorful piece. And that's everything that I kept that I'm listing online from the storage unit from those boxes that I brought in on my last video. Uh, the kids clothing, once I got it washed and went through it again, I pulled out probably another 15 pieces that I just threw out because they just had stains and they weren't in good condition. Otherwise, what was left uh, of the boys and the girls, I just lotted it up separately and listed it on Facebook Marketplace and said take it all for one price. So I listed the boys stuff, it was about 50 pieces. I listed it for $25, take the whole thing, and it ranged, there was 10 or 12 pieces that were sized like newborn to three months, and then everything else was six to 24 months. So I just said take the whole thing for $25. So that was 50 pieces in that lot. And then in the girls lot, there was 29 or 30 pieces. I think it was 29. And I said $15, take the whole lot. And that was kind of the same thing. It was a few pieces that were like newborn to three months, and then everything else was six to 24 months. So I just got those listed. They have not sold yet. We will see what happens with those. But either way, that's where I'm at now on those three boxes. So I'm gonna get these uh, first six items, the jacket type items, get those measured and listed today and get this other stuff poly bagged and put away. And that is probably gonna be my day for today. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to leave comments, questions, anything below. Um, if you see something in here you like, there's a link to my Poshmark closet and or eBay store in the comments or down in the description. There's also links to other YouTubers that we love to watch, people that we've learned tons from. So I also put links down to their channels as well in case you're looking for other resellers to watch. So again, thanks guys. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.